Okay, so this is just going to be a quick blog post about our opening sequence based on Napoleon Dynamite. So, I'm going to talk about our props and what we're going to use for our opening sequence. It's only two minutes long. Um, we've got me, Owen and Dan working as a group. And basically, the narrative of our film is going to be about a boy who goes to secondary school. It's not very confident. It's very good like, at his work, but he can't socialise, he can't work with girls, he can't talk to girls. It's basically going to be about a girl that he fancies. So we don't want to give too much away in the first opening sequence, but we want to introduce our characters, we want it to be interesting. So we thought we'd take Napoleon Dynamite as our inspiration, and for this we're going to literally have two minutes of different objects from the girl's house, from the boy's house, being placed onto different coloured surfaces, to have colour connotations for boys, for girls, and stereotype who they are without actually showing them physically in the set. So to do this, it's quite simple and it's going to be quite cost effective. Me, Dan and Owen are all teenagers ourselves. We all have these objects within our house. So for example, Dan's going to bring in a football, a games controller. I'm going to bring makeup brushes, my iPhone, typical things that girls and boys have within society that go to secondary school. So this is going to be cost effective because we're literally only going to spend four or five pounds on a few extra things that will make our film a bit more interesting. For example, we've got a Starbucks cup in one of the shops, we've got a Tic Tacs box, really simple things that cost one or two pounds each. It's going to be really cheap for us to film. Um, in terms of using people, having a model, employing anyone to be in our film, we're not going to do that purely because we don't need to. We're literally just going to be placing down these objects to give the audience an idea of who the people in our film are going to be. We don't want them to be in the film yet. So... This is quite simple because it means me, Dan and Owen can take it in turns. At some point they can be filming, I can be placing the objects, vice versa. And it just gives us a bit of a difference when we're filming, a bit of control over all the different things. Um, this leads on to hair and makeup. Again, we're not going to need it for the exact same reason. This is great because it means we're saving money on a budget and we're still going to have a successful, meaningful opening sequence. Um, I hope that's been a bit more interesting and sort of talked you through our prop list, what we're going to have in the film, how it's going to work. I'm going to make more blog posts about all the other things like lighting, etc. And that's it really, yeah.